a very special day for us in terms of uh, the signing of a memorandum of understanding with Sir Sanford Fleming. And uh, in speaking with one of your professors today, uh, we have a link that goes back many, many years ago in terms of heavy equipment operation and something that I, as the uh, been involved in this project for a long time and dying to uh, try some of your heavy equipment. I think I'd like to go back to school and learn how to run it. I can tell them where to dig, but I'd like to dig it myself. And there's nothing like big pieces of yellow iron moving uh, large quantities of soil that are pretty spectacular. And uh, in our project, we have a large quantity of, of, of soil to move. In the case of Port Hope, we have uh, 1.2 million cubic meters of earth that we have to move and, and transport from various locations to our new site out at the Welcome Waste Management Facility. We also have another project that's in Port Granby, it's a little further down Lake Ontario. Smaller quantity, 450,000 cubic meters, but once again, <coughs> lots of pieces of yellow iron. And as we move all of this material, we have to do it in an environmentally responsible manner, which requires us to monitor the air and the dust and the noise, which is another part of the curriculum that Sir Sanford Fleming provides. And I know that we have a number of students that are already engaged in our project, and uh, we certainly look forward to uh, the, the opportunity to work more closely with, uh, with the college. I'm just the best man. <laughs> First of all, it's a, it's a memorandum of understanding, as Glenn mentioned. Uh, it covers things, um, many different things, but some of the things are like um, data sharing, um, uh, hiring, uh, work placements, um, professional development, training opportunities, tours of our sites, tours of your facilities as well. So there's many things that are incorporated in this memorandum of understanding. And it's been a, a little while in coming uh, in developing this memorandum. Um, Basically, I believe it was about a year and a half ago that uh, the Port Hope Area Initiative and Sir Sanford Fleming College first got together, and I think it was through the Municipality of Port Hope's Economic Development Office um, that they brought us together, and, uh, and we met with uh, Linda Skilton and some of her staff and uh, provided a tour of our, uh, of our project, etc. And um, probably a few months later, um, I got in touch with... Uh, with Linda Skilton and I uh, wanted to talk mostly about co-op placement. I was really looking to, to try to find some uh, uh, synergy there so that we could uh, hire co-ops from uh, Sir Sanford Fleming and I uh, went up and met with them, with her and uh, some of her uh, staff at the, uh, in Lindsay and um, it was a very exciting meeting. It was a little different than I thought it was going to be but it turned into a real brainstorming session and the excitement of her staff was overwhelming. Um, they had a lot of ideas, and many of those ideas actually made its way, made their way into this memorandum of understanding. As Buddy said, there are a number. Of, there are actually ten items within in the memorandum of understanding, and I think we've covered about eight of them already, which is good. <laughs> we, uh, as Buddy said, we've done a tour of, of the Sir Sanford Fleming students uh, to our sites. So that was that tour. Um, they developed Melanie, and uh, through Melanie and Linda, we've developed a training course for our techs because we had a, n a number of new environmental technicians came from various places. So I thought, let's get them to Sir Sanford Fleming so they'll, they'll get a good solid base on equipment use, etc. Uh, we have some future ideas with re respect to database management and GIS, and we're working on those right now. Um, we actually are hiring two students for the summer. Uh, one that will be working kind of with socioeconomics with Nina Baba and the other working out in the field doing field work and uh, we also then have some staff uh, currently that are previous um, Sir Sanford Fleming Flemings <laughs> and uh, so there's a lot of really exciting things that we've already engaged in and uh, I think the future just is really bright and we're looking forward to it. So. It is indeed a great pleasure to participate in this event. At the recent uh, Canadian Nuclear Association annual meeting, um, ACL participated along with major U.S. national laboratories in a discussion session that was titled, Nuclear Innovation Driving the Future. Today the Port Hope Area Initiative and Sir Sanford Fleming College are building on that theme. 
driving a future of exciting research, skill sharing, and job opportunities through recognition of the individual strengths of each organization and the enhanced opportunities that working together can bring. The initiative taken by our respective staffs to formalize this collaboration supports a key tenant of ACL's science and technology innovation agenda. An agenda that builds partnerships and engagement opportunities for collaborative research and supports the development of Canada's highly qualified workforce for the future. It is clear to me that ACL and Sir Stanford Fleming College are aligned in our vision for the future in this regard. Thank you to everyone involved to date in bringing ACL and the Port Hope Area Initiative and Sir Sanford Fleming College together to embark on this exciting collaboration. As well as environmental stewards, we are together demonstrating stewardship for a strong future for science and technology and our youth. Through the enthusiasm of our respective staff, faculty, programs and students, I'm sure that this will be a successful venture for us both. Thank you. Well, thanks. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tony Tilley, president of the college. I'm in my ninth year. It's a great job. Uh, one of the things a president does is wait for a while, as people do all of the real work behind the scenes, and then jump out to the podium just in time to express appreciation, gratitude, and uh, uh, forward thinking about the future. I do think all of those ingredients are here. Um, I want to comment that my day started actually today uh, with a presentation uh, to uh, people in Northumberland County, uh, particularly with an economic development focus. Uh, Deborah Clifford, who's the uh, manager of the Coburg campus, was there with me. We talked a little bit about the job description of a college, uh, which really is three things. Help people uh, get a career-related education, uh, support the needs of employers and contribute to community and economic development. And what a checklist uh, for this project. I see all of these ingredients here and I'm delighted uh, that we're involved. I do want to thank uh, Linda Skilton as Dean uh, who has done uh, a bit of the work. Buddy referenced uh, coming to a meeting with Linda and saying it turned out a bit differently than I thought. <laughs> that is often the case, Buddy. Uh, but uh, Linda is energetic, uh, dedicated, and uh, brings that enthusiasm along with faculty and staff, uh, and they are very enthusiastic about this project. They love a number of the dimensions of this, the training dimension, the research dimension. Students always talk about hands-on learning, the opportunity to <coughs> apply, skip, apply learning, but also learn through the application itself. In other words, not just thinking about what needs to be done, but doing it. And you'll find those students extraordinarily ex enthusiastic about that aspect. Uh, today's uh, uh, day will actually progress to a board meeting. And uh, our vice chair is here, Joan Ross, who's a member of the uh, Fleming College Board of Governors. Uh, and Joan, it's going to be a pleasure to uh, uh, present this project to the uh, governors this afternoon. I want to uh, say specifically uh, that we, as we have grown the, uh, the uh, Frost Campus and our environmental and natural resource programs, uh, we have done so with the vision that the focus on natural resources and our environment is critical to Ontario and Canada's future. And as a college, we have become a specialist in this area. Uh, and so we want to bring the expertise that our students are developing and further develop that expertise. We'd also like to bring to bear the uh, resources of the Centre for Alternative Wastewater Treatment. Uh, and I do think that's a, a, a plus as well. Catherine, you spoke about being a faculty member at the college. Uh, we hope that this type of uh, venture will lead to more co uh, kinds of connections as well. Uh, and opportunities for students at the campus to learn about this uh, very important and broad project. And so we uh, appreciate that opportunity. Glenn, you spoke about uh, yellow iron and uh, an affection for it. Um, uh, we can give you an opportunity there. Uh, however, in the spirit of the health and safety theme, uh, I tell you, we will start you on the simulator. <laughs> 
in any case, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, on behalf of uh, the college, I want to express appreciation for this opportunity uh, going forward for our students, uh, for my colleagues, uh, and we commit to giving it our all uh, to enrich the project in terms of expertise, training, and resources, uh, and the future education of our students as well. Thank you very much. This is, this is, as I said at the very beginning, this is a, a pretty important um, memorandum that's taking place with us today. My, my daughter actually is a graduate of Sir Sanford Fleming. Um, I couldn't convince her to uh, use yellow iron. She was a Police <laughs> Foundations graduate. But um, it, it certainly uh, groomed her to be prepared to go to the working world. And that's certainly something that I see in the graduates that come to us from the colleges. They're ready to take on the world and to take on the challenges that we present because they've got the practical skills that we need. It's not theory for them, it's reality and they understand exactly what we need to do. So that's a real bonus for us. And I look forward to a long outstanding uh, memorandum of understanding and, the, and what's coming with that over the next many years as our projects moves forward in the, in the, the relocation of our waste to our new two long-term waste management facilities. And I thank everyone for coming today. And uh, if you would please join us, I think we have some refreshments in the other room. And I encourage you to meet some of our other staff. You can read their name tag and they'll tell you what they do because we're all very, very proud of our operation that we have here with the Portal Bear Initiative. So thank you very much for coming.